down Look real quick. Morning. If you listen, if you got and they that lay it up for the down morning. Down. Where's your fringes? I got them on. I want to have them on if I'm over here doing something I ain't supposed to be doing, right? Bruh. How you get here? How did we get home? How did we get home? How you get here? In a car. In a car? In a car. In a car when you, you hit the initial switch, it accumulates fire, right? Uh, Bruh, come on, man. Come I'm just saying, you want to be technical about no, it. No, ain't technical. That ain't the law. The law well, is that she's not cooked. Because I didn't hear nothing of it. I ain't exactly. hear nothing. Though. I didn't buy this. This was free. You know what I'm saying? I keep the commandments of God, my brother. You know you Israel, but what good is you know you Israel? And I keep God commandments. Say why I don't follow Paul. Right third, you had an order kingdom called Gentiles. That's the same Gentiles that Paul was teaching. You understand that? Paul was never going to eat a bite. So you think you my mind went though? Yeah. Why well, I say you yeah. talking to Gentiles? Okay, but you understand that the, the, the Gentiles are here. Was that the Yes. That's yes. right. Bro, I'm you understand that? I'll praise the Hey, the kingdom's only for the 12 tribes of Israel. You said that Christ is not God, right? You know, he is, you know, he is a God, though, right? He is a God. He is a God. He is a God. He said he's a God. He is yeah. called God in the Bible. You know yeah, that, right? He's called God. He's called Lord and Savior. Right. He's, he's considered a deity. He is. Right. But he's not the creator. He's not. What do you mean he's not the creator? How can you be. How can you be the creator when the creator is already up? He's not the most high, but Christ actually created us. Christ. Christ my John 1 and 1? Christ, yeah, John 1 and 1. See, I don't... Let me, let me get it. You believe in the whole Bible, right? No. You don't, why you don't believe in the whole Bible? Some stuff didn't touch you, tell. What? Like what? For instance, tell me one thing that's going to touch. All right, boom, boom. Good, good debate right here. The Israelites split in the beginning. I mean, the end, right? The, well, towards the end, they split. You had Paul, people who want to follow Paul, and had the people who want to follow. Uh, you talking about the division of the church of Corinth, right? Yeah, you had right. people that want to follow Paul, and you had people that want to follow. They said among Apollos, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you yeah. had people that was like, uh, well, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get something to, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go say the Gentiles what Paul was doing, and he spoke towards the Gentiles, and then you had, uh, I want to say Mark, I want to say Mark and uh, Matthew. And you had them that was going with the Israelite way. So they, they kept getting to it in the Bible. So yeah, yeah. What do you mean? You say Gentile? You mean you're talking about the other the other nations? Paul was preaching to the Gentiles. Who is the who is the Gentile? Anybody that's not an Israelite? No. No. That's your problem. No. Let me get you to understand it. Give me uh the son of an Abba, 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 uh, book. It's in the book. Who was Paul teaching? He was teaching the Israelites. Right. Who was living? Guess what? In America, we call ourselves African American, black Negroes. Right? We was taught ourselves being Gentiles because we were calling kind ourselves of the people of God. I'm gonna show you. But uh, get that real quick. Right. Give me uh, Psalm 111 verse 10. Give me right. Psalm 111. Let me show you how you gotta understand the Bible, bro. Right. The whole Bible is written of Christ from the beginning. You understand that, right? I'm gonna get that, but you but you just said at the beginning, you said you don't believe in the whole Bible. You said that. How can you believe, how can you believe the Old Testament, not the New Testament? All the, all, all the New Testament is just falling out why, the Old Testament. Why, why would I fall out the Paul? Why would I fall out the Paul and the people who actually walk with Jesus going another way? Bruh, no. I'm going to show you. Man, no, tell you. I'm going to show you. You got to say, you can't say you got you fall out behind Paul. You falling behind Christ. Let me show you. But I just, I just asked you a question. I'm going to show you. Right. 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 Yeah, get Psalm 111 verse 10 first. How you doing, my sister? Hello. You know what we teach you? You know what we teach you? I, I hear you All right, we teach them. God chose the people. Well, get Psalm 111, verse 10. Let me show you how we get the understanding of the Bible. Because the Christian church, we got people know the Israel too, right? But the the, 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 uh, the problem is the people not keeping the commandments of God. When you keep the commandments of God, God's not going to give you that wisdom to understand the scriptures. Psalms 111 verse 10. Psalms chapter 111 verse 10. Bring it out. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The Bible says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Right now, we are fearless people. We don't fear God. That's why we ain't showing forth no wisdom. Killing your own people, selling drugs, uh, having kids out of a wedlock, that's showing no wisdom. But the fear of God, we gotta have, right? Come on. A good understanding. A what? A good understanding. A good understanding of the Bible. Come on. Have all they that do his commandments. That do what? His 
commandment. Now, man, it's true. Where's the commandment found then? You believe, you don't believe in the New Testament. The New Covenant, right? I didn't say that. You don't believe in the New Testament? I didn't say that. Didn't he just not, didn't he just not say he don't believe in the New Testament? The whole Bible, I never said the what part of the Bible I didn't believe in. What Bible you don't believe in? What part? I don't believe in Paul. See, you just got a misunderstanding about Paul, so I'm going here. What do you think? All that it do is commandments. His praise and do it forever. His praise and do it forever. So you got to have understanding. You got to keep the commandments of God. You got to keep the commandments of God, my brother. You know you Israel, but what good is you know you Israel not keeping God's commandments? Say, why well, don't follow Paul? No, it's 15 and 38. You follow Moses, right? I like Moses. No, it's 15 and 38. Then, hey, hold it. I ain't going, I ain't going nowhere. But you got to stick to the topic. But, right nah, now. Hey, I'm going to show you. Right now. I'm going to show you where you're going off at. Right then now, I'm going to get this. this. Numbers 15 and 38. You're doing this right now. Come on. I'm thinking about one thing right now. Everything you're talking about right now, I ain't. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Come on. Bring it up. Speak unto the children of Israel. He said, Speak unto the children of Israel. You say you and Yashra. Right? Come on. And bid them. And command them. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So this is not Paul. This is Moses. This is God, right? Where's your fringes? I want, I want to have them on if I'm over here doing something I ain't supposed to be doing, right? Bruh, you ain't wearing no fringes because you're at work. I wear my fringes out. Who wear their fringes at work? Why? Because it's the commandment of God. So you got to wear the fringe. You got to wear the fringe. If Christ came back today, how would he know, how would he know you're Israel? By my actions. By your actions? By your actions what? Keeping God's commandments, right? So you got to have your fringes on, you know what I'm saying? So if you don't want them... Uh, if you analyze where your fridge is the store, you have up on the yoga. Nah, you can wear them, you know. I just, ain't, I just ain't want to wear them while I was working. Bro, you got to wear your fridge, bro. Period. The biggest one to five. Also, then we're going to get the Paul. The biggest one to one to five. And we ain't doing this to try to tell you down, but hey, we got here to show you your Paul. I'm just waiting for the Paul. That's all I'm listening for. Hey, who, do you, hey, who, who did you learn from? Who you learned the, the truth from? There's only one person you can learn from. Who did you learn the truth from? It's only one you can learn it from. Who? God. God? They ain't say he's only one teacher. Come on, bro. How you found out you was Israelite? Really, God. God said you were Israelite. I mean, I went to sleep. Come on. I woke up. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. <laughs> you don't believe they it. They should not make. Hold on. So if God said you was Israelite, so you did God take. No. So if God said you was Israelite, did he tell you to keep the commandments? He also did that. He told you that? Mm -hmm. Read Leviticus 21 and 5. Leviticus. Chapter 21, verse 5. Oh, they oh. shall not make baldness upon their head. Thou shall not make baldness upon their head. That means you can't take a razor and cut your hair, ball. Come on. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither should you shave off the corner of your beard. I'm asking you a question. Can you grow a full beard? Mm -hmm. That's how your hair grow? You don't cut down to your line? Uh, the patch, the patch in like Is that. it? All praise. That's good. So I'm asking you a question. What's in that cup? Oh. Is it hot? Come on, you know what I want. Yeah. Bro, you, you know about the Sabbath day, right? How do we keep it holy? How you get here? How do we get it holy? How do we get it holy? How you get here? In a car. In a car? In a car. In a car, when you, when you hit the switch, it accumulates fire, right? Uh, bro, come on, man. Come I'm on. Saying, you want to be technical about no, it. No, they ain't technical. They ain't the law. The law uh, is that you not Because I didn't hit nothing. That's not no. I ain't hit nothing. I didn't buy this. This was free. But I'm saying, the law is you why should not dog? cook. Why not this was free? I ain't this cook. You ain't cook. Come on, bro. Come on. Exodus 16 to 23. And I'm going to show you. Guess what? And you in the house, right? Do cold. You can light a fire. God don't want you to freeze, but he don't want you to cook on the Sabbath day. Come on. Exodus chapter 16, verse 23. Bring it up. And he said unto them, this is that which the Lord have said. Uh -huh. Tomorrow. This is what God has said. Now, Paul, come on. It's the rest of the Holy Sabbath uh -huh. unto the Lord. Uh -huh. Speak. That which you shall bake today. Cook what you should cook today, meaning yesterday. It's called a day of preparation, right? I got, let me you ask y'all something. Let me ask y'all oh, something. Hey, yeah, nay. Yeah, nay. What's the question, Lord? We got a day called a preparation day. God says, Friday, bake yeah. what you should bake today, right? Friday. Come on, read. Yeah. And which you shall bake today, and see that ye will see. And that which remaineth. Oh, oh so see, going to boil right? Do boil coffee. So if you want a uh, coffee, you should have did that yesterday. Come on. All right, all right. And that was remaining yeah, yeah. over. Lay it up for you to keep until the quick. morning. If you listen, if 
got and they that lay it up in the morning. Down so we drink cold coffee, bro. We drink coffee. We drink cold coffee today. But the law is because we believe in God, we don't break the seventh day. And we ain't no cars back in the day. It was no cars, right? But we had to travel to do the work. I mean, we could took a boat to do the work of the law, right? That's why we are. It's lawful to do good on the seventh day. But it's never lawful for you to cook on the seventh day. And even though you didn't cook that, but you still drinking the hot, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they made that. Come on. Second Chronicles chapter two, verse four. Bring it out. Behold, I build a house to the name of the Lord, uh -huh. my God, uh -huh. to dedicate it to him uh -huh. and to burn before him. Do what? And to burn before him. Oh, that's a fire, come on. And to burn before him sweet incense. And incense, right? Because we can burn incense on the Sabbath day, come on. And the, for the continual showbread. And for the continual showbread, come on. And for the burnt offering. Uh -huh. Morning and evening on the Sabbath. When? On the Sabbath. On the Sabbath. So the point is that you can light a fire, but it's not to cook on. It's like in Exodus 15 or 16, 23 says not to cook, right? So you understand that part? Mm -hmm. So for now, what you should not what you should not do on the Sabbath day? John cook, clean. Should move more than a thousand meters if you're walking. A by sale. Five right? eighth of the mile. A by sale, right? I understand. Okay. Well, two thousand cubits is said. So you understand this, right? So it's called repentance. So you might have uh, didn't know that. But guess what? A lot of, but a lot, guess what? A lot of understanding that brothers sent to Israel, um, you know what I'm saying? They get their understanding from Amalek, right? Amalek won't even flush the toilet on this every day. They won't even run an elevator. But there's nowhere in the Bible. Give me uh, Acts 8 and 30 real quick. Amalek, what's Amalek? Give me Acts 8 and 30. Then we're going to get Paul. Fake Jewish. Jewish. Okay, okay, okay. Jewish. The one yeah, that Jewish. wished to be us, right? It is. Acts 8, and, Acts 8 and verse 30. Because you said God can only want to teach you? The scriptures don't say that. God God don't reach down and, hey, and say, you're Israelite. God had to raise up men to show forth his wisdom. Come on. Acts chapter 8 verse 30. Bring it out. Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Esaias and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? Uh -huh. And he said, How can I? So Philip was a wise man and said, How can I understand what I'm reading? How can I? Unless what? Except some man should guide me. Unless what? Except some man should guide me. Unless some man should guide me. So guess what? You got brothers, they're going to be able to teach you. Precept upon precept, line upon line, what to do according to the Bible. Because Isaiah says what? Isaiah 30 and 20, real quick. Then give me go and give me a Gentile. I know he he, he wanna hear about the Gentiles. Isaiah 30 and 20. Uh, he's like Gentile. You want to hear about the Gentile doctrine because you said that Paul was teaching the Gentiles. I'm gonna show you the Gentiles the Israelites. Well, he, Paul was reaching for the Gentile more than he was the Israelites. He was. No, no, he was not. He was real. Yeah. Now I'm gonna get this, now I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna show you. We understood, guess what? Back in the day, we understood that. But in these times, we, we lost that. We lost that knowledge that Paul was teaching the Israelites. Paul never went to a, a Caucasian. He never went to an Edomite. He never went to a Hittite. He never went to Emelec. He always went to the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. Um, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. Bring it up. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into the corner anymore. So you see us out here today. God says your teacher will not be moved into a corner no more. So they mean a teacher has got to have a student. That's what we learn from a, other men. Come on. Thy teachers be removed in a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. And your eyes shall see your teachers, right? Now, give me this book. Give me Zonovan real quick. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 2. Zonovan, Compact Bible Dictionary. Definition of Gentile. Now, this is written by scholars. Zonovan, Compact Bible Dictionary. Come on. Gentiles. Usually, it means a non Israelite people. It says usually. So, what that mean? Usually. Not all the time. Not all the time. So, wait a minute. So, it got, it got, sometimes it got, Gentiles going to be who? They might be Israelite. You got it. It's that simple. <laughs> it's that simple. Because guess what? Paul didn't teach nothing. Give me 1 Corinthians 11 and verse uh, 1 about. Who he learned from? Come on. Oh, you talking about Galatians? First, no, First Corinthians eleven and verse one. First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse one. Bring it up. Be ye followers of me, even I am also of Christ. So, hey, my brother, Leonidas said, "Be you followers of me, even I, I am of, of who? 
I also am of Christ. Because Christ told him about revelation. He told him. He didn't walk away. He told him. You know what I'm saying? Come on. <laughs> now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and so, keep the ordinance. So Paul just said that Christ taught him, right? You understand that? So give me Matthew 15 and 24 real quick. They see if Paul, if Paul did anything different than what Christ told him to do. Bring him back. That same scripture. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. Oh, 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 Paul, hold on. Listen up. Listen up. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ said this, right? Yeah, sure, right? Yeah, he said, I'm only sent to Israel. So why would Christ teach Paul anything different than that? You gotta go back and read that, reread the scripture he read. First Corinthians 11, go back. Go back. And I want, I want you to just, just think about this. Just think about it. Why would Christ say that I'm only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel? I don't remember Paul walking with Christ. He did. I, that, 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 that he what did, I was saying but, earlier. But, but Paul, give me first. Uh, that what I was saying earlier. Give me Galatians. Give me Galatians. Uh, one in verse one. Ain't Paul the one that gave an order to kill Christ? No, he did not. That one that same. No, Paul? he wouldn't. No. Before, guess what? Saul. 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 Before Paul was uh, was uh, you know what I'm saying? Before he was converted, right? He has got knocked out the horse, and Christ told him. You're going to be my chosen vessel and to go to the Gentiles, meaning in order to kill the Israelites, that was cast off for idolatry. He told them face to face. Come on. Galatians 1 and verse 1. Come it up. Paul, an apostle, not of men. I don't see apostle. I'm an apostle, but not of men. Neither by man, uh -huh. but by Jesus Christ. But by who? By Jesus Christ. But through Jesus Christ. Jump down to verse 12. Verse 12, for I neither received it of man. Paul did not receive this knowledge of man, but who? Neither was I taught it, uh -huh. but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. So who did Paul you say taught him? Jesus. Now go back to Matthew 15 and 25. So we understand that Christ is coming back to save who? Israelites. Israelites, right? Did Paul say anything different? Romans 9, come on, he bro. He didn't, he didn't, but his, did. you know what I'm saying? His teachings, no, man. His hey, teachings. The problem is, give me 2 Peter uh, 3 and 16. Yeah, yeah. 2 Peter 3 and 16. Let me show you the, the, the problem with this. Come on. Paul, right, hard, hey, so hard to be understood. Yeah. Peter, I Peter was a, the top of Foster, right? I ain't arguing about Paul not being smart. Now, he was wise in his right. Yeah, he was. But it, it's, it's some things that he said that kind of goes against. You think that? No, it's just a misunderstanding. It's a misunderstanding. You gotta keep the commandments first. Let me show you. I'm trying to move with scripture. Let me show you. Because guess what? He finna tell you. I think it was in Galatians. Hold on, I'm gonna let y'all do that. Second Peter 3 and verse 16. Bring it up. As also in his apostles. And also in his epistles, meaning the letters, come on. Speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. So we can read. Some Paul letters are hard. They're hard to be understood. The Christian church wrong with Paul letters. Say that you ain't gotta keep the commandments of God because for one instant Paul might say you're not justified by works, right? Then the next time he said you're justified by the law. He was talking about the laws of God. He said when he says not justified by works, not justified by keeping the animal sacrifice. Right. So Paul saying things that's hard to be understood until people not keep the commandments of God. Come on, which they that are unlearned. Uh, did a what? They that are unlearned, which they are unlearned. Come on, and unstable. Rest as they do also the other scripture. The other what? The other scripture. What other scriptures he's talking about? He's talking about the commandments of God, the prophets, right? The law. God, thou should not steal. Thou should write friends. Thou should not uh, defile the seventh day. They rest with that, right? 613 of them, I thought It's over 613. It ain't no, it ain't no giving them, right? But the point is, like, people rest and keeping the Sabbath holy. They rest with uh, not committing fornication or idolatry. They don't understand the, the, uh, the writings of Paul, right? So give me Romans 9 real quick. I'm going to show you that Christ taught Paul the same thing he taught the rest of the 12. Come on, Romans 9 and 1. Romans chapter 9 and verse 1. Bring it up. I say the truth in Christ. So I want you to pay attention to what Paul finna say. Paul, every time he wrote to the Galatians, he wrote to the Ephesians, he wrote to the Romans. He always said key words who he was speaking to. Trust me, these Romans right here was not Caucasians. These right. Romans right here was the Israelites. That's right. Come on. I love not. He says, read them one more time. I say the truth in Christ. 
I lied not. So Paul says, I cannot lie. I'm saying the truth in Yahushua. Yahweh Shakalom. Oh. I say the All truth right. in Christ. I lie not. Come on. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. That I have great heaviness and continued sorrow in my heart. Come on. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ. He says, I wish myself was a curse from Christ, fool. For my brethren. For who? My brethren. For who? My brethren. For Paul's brethren. Who is Paul's brethren? Those who do the will of God. No, I'm saying, who are Paul's brethren? Who is the people? Oh, who is the like, oh. Israelites, right? Come on. For my brethren, my kinsmen. His kinfolk. According to the flesh. According to the flesh, like we brothers. That's what Paul said. I wish I could take all these Christ, all these curses for my brothers. Come on. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? To whom, whom pertaineth the adoption? Who are Israelites, not Gentiles, to pertain the adoption of sons? Come on. And the glory. And the glory is going to the kingdom of heaven. And the covenant. And the covenant. Old covenant, new covenant. All belong to the twelve tribes of Israel. Come on. Uh, and the giving of the law. And the giving of the law. Come on. And the service of God. And the what? The service of God. I'm telling you the service of God is only the Israelites. Not the Greeks. Not the real Greeks. Not the real they Edomites. Not the Hittites. Not the Egyptians. Come on. And the promises. And the promises. Because what I cannot find in the Bible that God ever promised salvation to heathen. To real heathen. Can be found in the Old Testament or the New Testament. We can't. Don't be, uh, so Paul called the Romans what his brother, right? So we understood that Romans, he talking to are Israelites. Read verse, uh, get uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 2. Now let me show you. So every time you read Paul's letters, look for the word. Called to be saints. Called to be servants. Who are the Bible called saints? There ain't going to be that many of them, but I know the saints is going to be the one to judge the world. Give me one Psalms 55. Let me show you. That's, that's how you know who Paul's talking to. I know the saints going to judge the world. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. The Israelites. The Israelites got to understand right. when Paul say, he say brethren. He always say brethren. Or he say call to be saints. Awesome. Psalms 50 and verse 5. Psalms yeah. chapter 50 and verse 5. Bring it out. Gather my saints together so unto me. God says gather my saints unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. By what? By sacrifice. Who was keeping the sacrificial laws? Israel. All, all praise. Psalm 148. Got that? Get the spirit. Psalms 148 and verse 14. Bring it out. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, uh -huh. even of the children of Israel. Indeed, the children of Israel. So when you read the scriptures, the saints is always Israelites. So in every letter that Paul wrote, he always called them saints. Then you know these are Israelites. But they was growing, they was growing up without the customs of keeping the law. I got a question. This is something you can teach me. I right? I should be messing with your mind a little bit. This is something you can teach me. I because it's in the area. I don't want to leave. It's in the same area. It's in the same area. Okay, what you got? But I want to go back to this though. Uh, Israelites be considered a saint. Yes. Oh, man. Come on. Bro, what the Come on, man. Hey, just got the... You ever obvious did it but, 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 but the point is, but look, but the point is, just because you're a saint, just because you're Israelite, don't I mean you get the kingdom. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, we all consider saints, but all the saints not going to get the kingdom of heaven. The saints that are going to get the kingdom of heaven is going to do what? Revelation 14 to 12. Let me come back down. I need, I'm, I'm need edification on all. I need edification on all. Let me show you. The only guy who's stooped on all. Because gonna who did the Bible say the saints were? Right. It's technically the Israelites. Okay. But okay. Look, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. okay. It's technically the Israelites. What? Revelation I feel like you have to be in the righteous standards right. to be a saint. Right. I'm but at the end of the day, like, guess what? The scriptures say all Israel is not Israel, right? True. Because... True. Some Israelites are not going to repent and keep the commandments. To the end of the day, right. Only the saints will get in, so I was doing this. Revelation 14 and 12. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 12. Bring it out. Here is the patience of the saints. Here's the patience of the saints. We patience the way for our uh, Messiah's return. Come on. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. Leonidas. These are they that keep the commandments of God. My brother, you got to learn to keep the commandments of God. Come on. And the faith of Jesus. And what? The faith of Jesus. We gotta have faith in Christ. You gotta have faith in the Messiah. He's our Savior. 
He died for us. He laid his down his life for us. At least we can do is repeat to keep the commandments of God, right? Now go back to 1 Corinthians 12 and 2, like I said. Come on. 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 2. Bring it out. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. See, this no Paul says, you know you were Gentiles. Come on. Carried away unto these dumb idols. He said, you was carried away to these dumb idols. You was in idolatry. Hosea 14 say, Hosea 4 and 17. Wait, what did God tell uh, the Jews to do? The Jews are the son of the kingdom. What did he tell us to do? Yeah, Hosea. He, he told them to do what with the Lord of the King. I know he was telling me we were stiff neck and we don't listen. I, know, yeah. I can't remember what he but told But he told them specifically about the Lord of the Kingdom. The Lord of the Kingdom one but later on was called, was called the Gentiles. Let me show you. Hosea 4 and verse 17. Bring it out. Ephraim is joined to idol. He said Ephraim is joined to idol. Ephraim is the whole Lord of the Kingdom of Israel. The so-called Spanish Native Americans they Right? Ten tribes when there's idolatry first. Because the first three right here, the southern kingdom, right? Right, yep, yep. Benjamin, and Judah, and Levi. So this is the Jews. So God told us, the Jews, to do what with the northern kingdom? Ephraim is joined the idols. Let him alone. He says, do what? Let him alone. He says, let him alone. Therefore, you ain't my people no more. He cut them off for being in idolatry. No, I'm in. Right. No, I'm in. Yeah. He said, right. Because you got to understand, hey, get Hosea 1. And now it's, it's going to bring it back full circle to you. Remember right now, Hosea 1. I uh, praise you. already know that. Hosea chapter 1. Hey, read verse 9 first. Verse 9. Then said God, call his name, Lo Omni, uh -huh. for ye are not my people. He was talking to the Lord of the kingdom. If I'm not called the Israelite no more, what am I called? Gentile. Gentile. Right. Read on. And I will not be your God. And yeah, I'm not going to be your God. So for a time being, Hey, y'all off of that, you know what I'm saying? But the devil, Christ, Christ grafted them back in. Christ uh, adopted them back into the fold. Right. Come on. Yet the number of the children of Israel. Yet the number of the children of Israel. Shall be as the sand of the sea, uh -huh. which cannot be measured nor numbered. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass that in the place where I said, it was said unto them, ye are not my people. Uh -huh. There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons. Of the living God. So go back to First Corinthians. That's what Paul was trying to do. That's what I some of people can understand. That the Lord and the kingdom have to be brought by. Just like when uh, Christ was saying to John 10, I got other sheep that's not over this fold. I gotta bring them too. The promise was still made to them. He knew this one going off of the dollar. We went off the dollar tree too. But the depth of Christ that been brought back. Come on. First Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 2. Bring it out. You know that you were Gentiles. You were Gentiles. You were the people of God because you was cast away from God. Come on. Carried away unto these dumb idols. Uh -huh. Even as you were led. Even as you was led. Now jump over a couple of chapters over. Precept upon precept. Chapter 10. And verse what? Verse 1. First Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 1. Bring it out. Moreover, brethren. Moreover, brethren. What part is God these people? Oh, you think you're talking to the Israelites? He said, my brother, in his first Corinthians 10, right? My older brethren. I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud uh -huh. and passed through the sea uh -huh. and were baptized unto Moses. Who went to the Red Sea and baptized to Moses? Who was there? Who baptized Moses? Who came through the Red Sea? Who was baptized under Moses? Joshua. Now read that one more time. Moreover, brethren, I would not have you such should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud. All of our fathers were under the cloud. You remember you read the scriptures? We had a cloud by, by day and a fire by night. That's what he was talking about. Come on. Our fathers were under the cloud uh -huh. and passed through the sea. And passed through the sea, meaning the Red Sea. Uh -huh. And were all baptized unto Moses. So who are you speaking about? Are the people before him? Yeah, I was saying, who we just talking about? Who was in the Red Sea? Who came out of Israel. Egypt? Israel. Oh, so, I didn't so, understand the question. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. So, so you now you understand the conversions of who? Well, you're talking about Israelites. The Israelites. Mm -hmm. Right? Same thing in Acts 2. The people of Corinth. Yeah. yeah. They hey, were talking. Give me Matthew 4 real quick. Matthew 4 and verse, uh, starting verse 12. I'm off. Watch this. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 12. There you go. Now, when Jesus had heard that John was cast. Into prison. Uh, jump down a little bit where you can get to the point. Oh, verse 13. Uh -huh. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum. So he came and dwelt in Capernaum. Come on. 
which is upon the sea coast, uh -huh. in the borders of Zebulon. Where? The borders of Zebulon. Who is Zebulon? I'm gonna have to look over here. <laughs> Cause I ain't gonna think I don't know. But, but you know they on the tribe though. But you know yeah, they yeah, Israelite, right? Yeah, so right. Christ said he came to the border of Lebanon. And Naphtali. And you gotta remember, at this time, at this time, the Jews were not dealing with the Northern Kingdom, right? They the Northern Kingdom. Come on. The borders of Zebulon and Naphtali, uh -huh. that it might be fulfilled. That it might be fulfilled because it was written before a time in the Old Testament, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet. Isaiah. Saying, the land of Zebulon and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, uh -huh. Galilee of the Gentiles. Galilee of the Gentiles. So right there, you had a northern kingdom called Gentiles. Uh -huh. That's the same Gentiles that Paul was teaching. You understand that? Paul was never going to Edomite. So you think you my mind went though? Yeah. Why well, I say you were yeah. talking to Gentiles? Right, but you understand that the, the, the Gentiles are here. Was that some Israel? Yes! That's yes, bro! Yes, we didn't stand that. Uh, praise Lord. Hey, the kingdom's only for the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? Where's, where's the 13th gate? Where's the 14th gate? It's not. She a female, she don't count. Huh? She a female, she don't count. A female, what you talking about? 13 child's a female. No, it's said 13 gate. Oh. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we got so we got that clear up, right? So hey, so so the point here, bro, hey, you got a current game, bro. Uh praise, you know what I'm saying? Who's hungry to What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 